Hi everybody. Um, I've been kind of sitting in my car thinking about life real hard. Um, mostly because I'm very fatigued and I tend to do that when I'm fatigued. And I've been delaying on doing a walk today because I just don't feel well. Um, but I am going to get out and get a little fresh air. But before I do that, I just want to put in a thought that... shouldn't be controversial but it is especially from my point of view because i'm a <laughs> i'm a woman who i'm a i'm a woman and i i um have lived my entire life single and child free and I just observed things specifically in my, this is not, by the way, this is not a professional opinion by any means. I'm just offering a perspective as a woman who survived trauma and abuse at the hands of men. Um, and no, I won't generalize, but it's, I've had almost all experiences that I've had with men have been abusive in some way, violent, predatory um and it made me spend time learning to look out for myself and you know even though I had tremendous mental health struggles um as many people are now and we're thankfully starting to support understanding it so that we can help overcome it but as a person who has went through severe mental health issues, struggles, as a result of the traumatic impact of going through all these traumatic and violent experiences, I just look at relationships as tricky and I'm going through this phase after years and years of avoiding them altogether with men as I don't know how to describe myself really. I, I'm attracted to, I don't have an, I don't know if I have a sexual orientation. I just know that I'm attracted to men, <laughs> which is very contradictory. Um, and at the same time, I, I'm very much focused on the heart of a person. Um, so I don't know how to name that really, but looking at that and then looking at marriage and then kind of retracting from it to the point where it made me physically ill. <laughs> I just thought, I don't know. I just thought there's something very wrong here and I don't want to involve myself in marriage. Firstly, before I've taken care of my mental health and secondly, before I get to know who I am. And then I began to realize that that I, for years I thought, oh, that means, you know, there's still something wrong with me and I got to get it fixed. And, you know, I'm not enough in the various capacities. I'm not, a, you know, it, which it is insane. But it, like I would think, oh, I'm not attractive enough. I'm not skinny enough. I'm not s mentally sound enough. And then I thought what if what about the other side of it like what where am i getting these ideas from that it's not that it's all me and it's okay to take full responsibility but only re recognize what you take responsibility for and what's really yours to take responsibility for i think i just thought to myself why is it so hard for me to accept that there may be other parts to this and why you won't get married or have kids beyond there's just it always felt like there was another piece of the puzzle that was missing and i think it's because uh it it kind of hit me today that you know i've been looking at the this amazing movement of single and child free decentering men and centering yourself i.e having a strong identity as 
you, knowing who you are, and maintaining loyalty to your true identity, no matter whether you're in a relationship or married or single, whatever it is, just knowing what your choices are and making the right ones. I actually realized that the reason I haven't gotten married yet, and I, I'm, I don't know, I don't, I know that there's a lot of common arguments and that people will try and tell you why you're single <laughs> and make it all sound like it's, there's something wrong with you while in the same breath, you'll hear people say, oh, love yourself. It's all very confusing and I'd, I'd rather just not pay attention to it. But on, on reflection, I began to realize that the reason is very simple and it's that First of all, you, you know, I have experience to be had connecting with people and connecting with men specifically, but I also learned from this that I have to know what my standards are for how to be treated, especially since I survived abuse and certain things I experienced being taken advantage of and being abused. Um, that also changed my character in certain ways for a while. That will nor it will normalize certain things that aren't okay, and distort the way you see relationships. So I have to get to know that, and of course, going to I'm going to therapy for that. But um, once I've mastered that, and I got I feel like I've got a handle on what I should and shouldn't accept and why boundaries are important, why having a, an identity that's yours alone in a relationship is important and why skewing away from that is bad. Once you've gotten a handle on that and that you're willing to always have your own back, not in a selfish way, but in a, I need to stay true to myself or this will end badly kind of way. You once you set yourself on the path of having that solid identity i think that's when people say oh i wasn't even looking for anyone and i met my soulmate um or they're having a happy a truly happy happy partnership that might include marriage but it's just a great partnership where you two are working in unison. And by the way, I don't like the term, we are a team. I don't like it because it's too impersonal to me. I like using the term working in unison. I don't know, I just, to me, certain words sound like they have a more compassionate tone to them. But, I just think that um, for me, no matter whether it happens tomorrow, right this second, or when I'm 65, I will know that the right time has arrived for me to move from having a solid identity and doing what I can to bring good into this world to collaborating, not just with another person, in a partnership, but in a community, it, it, I'll move gradually into that because nature moves gradually anyway. And that partnership will be another level of evolution that I will be ready for. And so will the partner that I want to be with. And that is right. That they'll just be present and it's not even a magical construct it's just that you'll be at that level and you'll know when it's time in here so i i'm not worried about timing and you know that's another thing is if you ever hear people say well you'll be too old or you won't God forbid anyone should say to you, oh, well, you're not going to be attractive enough. That's not true, by the way. Think about all the amazing, beautiful, amazing, wonderful women and people who just got better with age. Um, 
they just they evolved they didn't age it's because they understood the importance of growing yourself um and so for me it won't be too late the timing is always right and you'll just know in your heart that it's right you won't stand for any disrespect because it won't even be a part of your world at all and if it shows up you're more than willing to back away and always have a backup plan and things happen and sorry if I'm rambling here but the point is I think that marriage has some issues that need to be worked out some people need to I think a lot of issues with marriage is that we all think that we have to have marriage or for like formally get married and everything and then there's a lot of pressure around that and we lose focus on what's actually important um and that's to me that once you've established yourself as an individual and you're really who you are um that's when you start collaborating and connecting really like taking it up a level taking it up to collaborating and connecting with others you know like i have existing friendships and i have loving friend like connections with my family um but you you discovering who you are only improves those connections and then it starts to leave an, an even bigger influence and impact on yourself and them and the world the because you discovered who you are and then you really are in a strong place where you naturally end up connecting in a true partnership with someone it doesn't have to be something forced it's just natural and if it doesn't happen it will still feel right you know like the whole concept of people opting out of marriage altogether and realizing what's best for them and their kids by doing that or if they don't have kids just staying single or just that, that we're starting to realize that there's more ways to live life that are actually healthy and meaningful to me deep down i feel like at some point there's going to be a partnership um or some kind of connection of a just it my it's funny it, it shared influence more connection it will just start opening up more and more the better i become and the more i work on myself the more i'm willing to reflect on the impact i'm having so i thought i'd go into that and just i guess the closing idea is that if you're concerned about marriage or you're concerned about not being enough for for a relationship like I was for years don't worry because to begin with it's not even the end goal it's just a natural effect of being who you truly are and you'll know deep down if you let yourself get to know who you really are and what's really right for you then you will absolutely be living not only your best life but living a life of the heart living a life of truth for who you are and having peace with that nothing will be missing so i wanted to close with that thought and also say a quick reminder that um you were always meant to outgrow and outlive all the stories uh that were imposed upon you throughout your life and your story is the greatest I don't know if that's an original thought. If it isn't, please correct me. But it just came to me. And I think that's how I'm going to close a lot of my videos. Just remember that you were always meant to outlive other people's stories. Um, and if they are the right kind of stories for you, you were always meant to evolve past them or evolve upon them. You were always meant to outlive stories that are not your own. Love you, everyone, and have a great evening or day or whatever, whatever time it is for you. Have a wonderful time. <laughs> have a wonderful time. Love you. Bye.